So you have probably seen videos about computer science degrees from people from the US or the UK. But have you seen one from a person that lives in <laughs> That's right, I'm a student that lives in Vienna, Austria, and I study computer science at the University of Vienna. Now I am basically done with the degree and I only have the bachelor thesis left. That is why I thought I would do a video about summing up the computer science degree in the least amount of time possible. And to make this a little more interactive, I've decided to create these diagrams for every single semester, and in each diagram there are three circles math, programming and computer science and everything in between. And every course will be represented by one or more books that were recommended by the professor for the certain course. By the way, I really like that the covers of these books always represent the topic itself. Like for example this one, it's called UML in a nutshell and it's a monkey. A monkey. But without further ado, let's get into the first semester. And as you can see, the first semester was really, really disconnected. What I mean by this is that every course is sort of at the border of its own circle. This is because uh, the professors wanted us to get the base understanding of every single of these circles. Let's start with the by far hardest subject in this semester, which was Mathematical Foundations of Computer Science 1. It was about linear algebra, so matrices, vector spaces, but also mathematical proofs and algebraic structures. It basically gave me this completely new way of looking at math, which I was really uncomfortable with because I was pretty good at math uh, at my high school. And basically like this was completely new to me and I was really demotivated because it didn't go in my head that easily. I actually failed the first attempt and barely managed to pass on the second one. So I'm glad that this course is behind me and we can move on. Then a programming course, which was called Programming 1. And this was a really, really good introductory course to C++ and programming altogether. We learned how to create classes, methods, operator, overloading, and how memory management in C++ works. Overall, a really great introductory programming course. Next up, we have these two computer science courses, which basically didn't go into programming or math. And these were uh, theoretical computer science and technical foundations of computer science. In the former, we basically learned about first order logic, propositional logic, Turing machines and automata theory altogether. And in the latter, we learned about bits, how you can count with bits, what is a transistor, how can you create logic gates, and how can you use these logic gates to actually create something which is usable. The courses in the first semester were picked very well, and I think they really gave us the basic overview, and then allowed us to go much further in the next semesters. As you can see, the second semester is like much, much more balanced. We actually get a lot of overlapping subjects, which shows us that computer science really connects many subjects, disciplines into one. Let's again start with the hardest one for me, which was programming too. Looking back at it, I made the mistake of thinking that the difficulty of programming will go up linearly, but it picked up very quickly in this course. We still mainly coded in C++, but then picked up Java at the end. In this course, we were taught this very interesting concept that the languages are actually written in themselves. And for example, this standard library you have in C++ is actually written in C++. And if you want to, you can create something like standard li library yourself. So this was like really a breakthrough idea for me. And it made me look differently at programming. Then overlapping computer science and programming, we have modeling. Here we were taught how to model real world programs in these modeling languages like ER, UML or BPMN. This is overall a very important concept in software engineering especially, but the course uh, wasn't the best. Then we have a course just in the computer science category, which is called operating systems. Here we were taught about processes, threads, input, output, deadlocks and memory management. This course also had a very interesting practical part where we learned how to install bare bones Linux from nothing. And in the just math category, we have mathematical foundations of computer science too, which for me was much easier than the first one because this was basically like the extension of high school math. This means analysis, so integration and differentiation. And last but not least, we have the holy grail of all computer science degrees, which is algorithms and data structures. 
a course that really connects everything we've learned thus far and makes it into a one course. In it, we had to create our own collision handling feature and also learned about things like the big O notation, all of the sorting algorithms, trees and lists. This was definitely my favorite course this semester. The third semester, as you can see, is very, very math oriented. The hardest course, but definitely my favorite one, was introductory statistics. I really like statistics and find it very interesting, but the course was very tough because the professors made every single exam completely different from the ones before, so you didn't really have this like point you can catch on to and learn, you know. We were taught about distributions, probabilities, Bayes' theorem, interval estimators, and much more. Then I also had an another math course, which was more in the realm of computers, and it was called Introduction to Numerical Computing. Here we basically talked about how computers solve math problems, and because they work in zeros and ones, you have to basically create new algorithms and find out new ways you can solve the math problems to get the right result. Then a computer science course called Foundations of Intelligent Systems. Here we learned about what AI really is and there were also like these really cool concepts introduced, for example, like the Chinese room paradox. But other than that, it was really similar to a course, course I've already had, which was uh, theoretical computer science, but uh, easier. Then a really cool course called Database Systems where we learned about SQL, how to model a database, and relational algebra. In the practical part of this course, we actually developed our own database using SQL and also developed a PHP backend to it and an HTML frontend to it. Overall, a very interesting course. And last but not least, we had a course that was heaviest in the programming circle, but still pretty light, and this was Programming Languages and Concepts. Here we were taught other programming paradigms like functional or logic programming. We also learned about Antler, I think that's how it's pronounced, which basically gave us a good overview of how the rules of a programming language have to be defined. Then we have the fourth semester, which was definitely the most intense one. And as you can see, there was a lot of programming done. But the hardest course in this semester and the hardest course overall was Software Engineering 1. Now, don't get me wrong, I really, really, really like this course and I don't think I ever learned this quickly, but throughout the whole semester, even though I did my best, I was scared of failing. This was basically because of uh, the two exams we had, which were 120 to 130 minutes, and I basically sat there the whole time writing something on a paper and still did not have enough time. And this was after I visited every single lecture, wrote down everything the professor said, and I learned everything thoroughly, and I always managed to only get about half of the points. And if this was not enough, in the practical part of this course, we actually had to uh, program a game, which was a treasure hunting game, and our AI would play against the professor's AI and would have to beat it. And this was by far the largest project we had to do in the whole degree. But the course was really interesting and really engaging. We were taught about how to define requirements for our software, how to differentiate these, how to model our software, and how to then use this model to actually write the code, and how to write the code so then it's testable, extendable, and maintainable. But this is actually the first semester where I also took elective courses. These were parallel computing, foundations of data analysis, and um, signal and image processing. In parallel computing, we learned about how to distribute a program to make it run faster. This is a very important concept because the performance gains we get from better hardware are getting smaller and smaller. So this is basically like the future of performance gains. In foundations of data analysis, we basically talked about unsupervised and supervised learning, stuff like classifications, regression, clustering, and neural networks. And in signal image processing, we learned about um, Fourier transforms, how to sample and filter signals, and also a little bit about image processing. Then a very interesting course that went a little outside of computer science, 
and it was called human-computer interaction. In this course, we learned about design features we have to implement so that our apps, our software are usable also for people who aren't like tech geeks. And in the practical part of this course, we actually had to implement an app in a team of four. And this was also in stages. So we had to define what our users are. Then we did low fidelity prototypes. Then we actually had to implement the app. And then we had to do a user study where we basically checked if what we did actually worked if the design features we use and we implement it actually worked well. This course was a breath of fresh air compared to the other very technical courses that I took. And then the last course this semester, which was a full on mathematical course. And this course was introduction to mathematical modeling. And this course was also divided into two parts. Um, the first part was about optimizations and the second one was about multivariable calculus. So integration and differentiation. The fifth semester is actually the current semester and ends in few weeks. And as you can see, it is completely math free. Well, not if you take into account the hardest course this semester, which is foundations of computer graphics, where you have to utilize a little uh, linear al algebra. But this course is actually really, really interesting. We learned everything about 3D graphics and how to actually implement them ourselves using WebGL. And in the second part of this course, we actually um, write our own ray tracer from scratch, which I cannot describe this, but writing anything from scratch is the best feeling. Once you get it finished, it's the best feeling because everything you wrote, you wrote yourself and you really orientate yourself into code and you can literally go to any single function, any single variable, and you can explain it immediately because you wrote it. So that's, I think, the best feeling in computer science when you write your own code from scratch and you can explain it. Then in the programming world, we have Software Engineering 2, which is much easier than Software Engineering 1. Here we mostly learn about uh, design patterns like decorator, template method, abstract factory, or adapter. But also, for example, about naming conventions for your variables and methods. Then in the computer science circle, we have two courses. These are information security and computer networks. In the former, you learn about how you can secure your data, but also, for example, how you can uh, reverse engineer from bytes to actually valuable information. So you might think that your data is secure, but only from single bytes, you can actually get valuable information. And in the latter, you learn about basics of computer networks, like all the layers there are and protocols like IPv4, IPv6, TCP and UDP. And then you only have the sixth semester left, which starts in a month and where I'm going to be writing the bachelor thesis. And then I'm hopefully done with my degree. Now, I hope that the information I gave you was interesting. I would really recommend the computer science degree to anyone who loves learning and loves computers. It's very important to know that it's not all about programming. Computer scientists aren't just monkeys that know which button to press at which time to have the correct results. There are people who have a very deep understanding of many disciplines. Like, for example, if you have a real world problem, how to write this in a written word, how to then transform this into various models and how to then write from these models code which is extendable, maintainable and easy to understand. What I wanted to say by this is that don't be scared of AI taking your work because it will be another tool which, make, which will make computer science and programming itself much more efficient. But if you know how deep computer science is and what the best computer science scientists know and what they utilize every day in their work, I don't think you have to be scared of what AI will come to. Now, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and bye.